Hey guys, how's it going? My name's Casey, and I know I haven't been here for a while. Uh, what we're looking at, like, like, six, like, six months? Six months. But I'm back, hopefully, for a bit more of, like, a permanent stay this time around. I'm here with a haul for you. I went thrifting earlier this morning and I'm so excited about the stuff that I bought that I figured I would show it to you now. So let's get into the video. Starting off with this, it's just a plain white t-shirt. It's got kind of like a satiny lining around the neckline ribbed stretchy kind of t-shirt and i got it for seven dollars but this store was having a half price sale on today so i actually got this this was three dollars fifty next thing i picked up was <laughs> another white shirt but this one is a collared polo it's kind of just like a cute little polo it's got blue detailing around the collar casual nice and lightweight for the summer because it gets extremely hot here in australia I got this one for 250 today which is super cool. And so next thing I picked up from that same op shop, I got these, they're kind of like corduroy, not corduroy, um, what is it, plaid collot kind of pants. Very vintage-y looking, and they have real pockets, which I'm really excited about. They're a bit big on me, so I'm just gonna have to take these in at the waist to make it that little bit smaller, so they sit a bit nicer. But yeah, nice and full length. For someone that's as tall as me, I'm like 5'11 or 178-ish centimeters. Finding long pants that are actually long enough to, you know, wear and not have like that cold ankle kind of thing is really rare. So I'm really happy that these ones are nice and long. What else did I get from that store? I'm also kind of getting in, I'm still in that kind of vintage thing. I like blazers, oversized kind of thing. So I picked up this one. It's like something like dark, dark emerald green. And then the lining is also this nice satiny emerald. Um, and I've just rolled the sleeves up there. So I got it for, for $7.50. I really like this. It's quite classy. Um, not too hot though, so that'll be nice for like autumn, spring. Moving on to the next shop. Picked up another blazer. This one is another like plaid. It's got some tan, white, navy and red in there. And a bit of green. It was $8, but it's really lightweight. Like, this one doesn't have any kind of lining or shoulder pads or anything in it. Nice to throw on over the top of a couple of cute outfits there. Next, I got this really big, it's like a suede kind of fabric. Tan skirt. It is actually, like, past knee length originally. This one was, I think it was $5. I've already taken the tag off of it. I need to take it in at the waist a little bit. And then I'll cut it to be a, like a kind of mid-thigh A-line skirt. I'm super excited for that one. A bit of a DIY project there. Lucky last. So this one is from Endeavor. It was $10. A nice satiny top. Got some lace around the edge. Nice and flowy. It's not quite black. It's kind of like this really dark grey brown kind of colour. Chuck that on with some denim shorts. And you're good to go. Now that is the last... Oh no it's not. I got something. This isn't clothes, but it's. I got it today. This was my last purchase of the day. I almost didn't do it. I almost went straight to the checkout, but I was like, no, I'll have another quick wander. I found this stashed up the back. It's a, just like a vintage travel case. Got a nice buckle on it. I was expect. I was looking for the price, and I was expecting to pay about 15, 20 bucks for it. This was four dollars, but then they had the 50% off special. So this actually ended up costing me two dollars. This. Leather travel case, two dollars. What? Okay. The links to the um, charity shops, op shops, thrift stores, whatever you want to call them, in the description box down below. If anyone wants to check them out, all the money that goes through these stores all goes towards charity and helping other people, which is amazing. They have really great stuff if you look hard enough. It's thrifting, obviously, isn't something you can just walk in, walk out. But, you know, if you're willing to flick through the 12,000 pieces of clothing they've got there, it's definitely worth it. I found a couple of good gems in there, which was really cool. So that's everything for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit the big red subscribe button down below as well. Let me know down in the comments if you want me to make more videos like this one. I will see you guys next week. Bye!